Hey everyone, it's Beverly here. Um, a little late getting to this today. Um, had a little rough day, but <sighs> with God at my side, He'll pull me through. So today we're just going to go into Proverbs three. And what it's talking about is furthering our benefits of wisdom. Remember, the Proverbs are is um. It's just amazing, amazing words of wisdom that we can live by. And I'll tell you, whenever I stray away from God's word and the, his wise, his wise um, teachings, things just fall apart. And I got to keep remembering just to focus on what he wants. No more of what I think or what I want. All right, it starts off, my son, do not forget my teachings. But keep my commands in your heart, for they will prolong, prolong your life many years and bring your prosperity. Let love, faithfulness never leave you. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win favor and good name in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all of your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight gosh this is you know gosh it sounds so easy right guys you know it sounds so easy but life is so hard sometimes let love and faithfulness never leave you. I love that. Bind them around your neck. Write them on the tablet of your heart. Then you will win for a favor and a good name in the sight of God and man. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean on, not on your own understanding. In all of your ways acknowledge him and he will make your path straight. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and shun evil. This will bring health to your body and nourishment to your bones. Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of the crop, of your crops. Then your barns will be filled to overflowing and your vats will brim over with new wine. My son, do not despise the Lord's discipline. Do not resent his rebuke. Because the Lord disciples, the Lord disciplines those he loves. As a father, the son, in he delights in. Blessed is the man who finds wisdom, the man who gains understanding. For she is more profitable than silver and yields better returns than gold. She is more precious than rubies. Nothing you can desire can compare with her. Long life is in her right hand. And in her left hand are riches and honor. Her ways are pleasant, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who embrace her. Those who lay hold of her will be blessed. See, I, I struggle so hard because I try so hard every day to bring wisdom, use wisdom of God's, and to bless others. Or somehow I, I, I mess up. I still mess up. By wisdom the Lord laid the earth's foundations. By understanding he has set the heavens in place. By his knowledge the deep were divided. And the clouds let drop the dew. My son, pre preserve, preserve sound judgment and discernment. Do not let them out of your sight. They will be life for you, an ornament to grace your neck. Then you will go on your way in safety, your, and your foot will not stumble. When you lie down, you will not be afraid. And you will not be afraid, and you will lie down. Your sweet sleep will be a sweet sound. Have no fear of sudden disaster. Or of the ruin that overtakes the wicked. For the Lord will be your confidence. And will keep your foot from being snared. Do not withhold good from those who deserve it. When it is in your power to act. 
Do not say to your neighbor, come back later. I'll give it tomorrow. When you know you have it now, give it at that time. Do not plot harm against your neighbor who lives trustfully near you. Do not accuse a man for no reason when he has done you no harm. Do not envy a violent man or choose any of his ways for the Lord detests a perverse man. But takes the upright into his confidence. The Lord's curse is on the house of the wicked, but he blesses the home of the righteous. He mocks proud mockers, but he gives grace to the humble. The wise inherit honor, but fools he holds up to shame. That was Proverbs 3. 1 through 35 and um, I guess the Proverbs really touch me because every day I wake up and I really 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 want to shine God's light but for some reason it's I screw up I'll say the wrong thing or I'll do something that I thought was okay but it's not in someone else's eyes and um, I just want to live a, a non-guilty life, a non-burdensome life. So I'm going to pray for that tonight. And I'm going to pray for all of you who are struggling with the day-to-day tasks. And that you um, you hear God's wisdom and you follow it as I am going to try. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for your words of wisdom. And we are so, we so acknowledge that this is the way to live. And we just need your help, Lord. Help get, keep us on our feet, keep us on our toes, and keep our mind in our heart. And have it engraved with your words so that we don't wither and we don't scatter and we don't leave what you all your teachings are telling us for we know your word is the words to righteousness your words are the words to peace your words don't commit angered souls as long as we keep practicing and loving your word I thank you so much, Lord God, for your Bible. I thank you so much for loving me. Such an unperfect person. And I thank you. I thank you so much. When there's no one else out there that can love me, I know that you are. And I thank you. And I know I can build a strong strength and wisdom in you. And all of you out there who are listening... I pray for all of you to hear his wisdom and follow through. Keep the confidence of God in you. When life gets us down, we have God. We don't have man, we have God. Men will hurt us. Man will hold it against us. They will hover your past against you. They will hover you press it against you if it's not what they want. But the Lord God forgives. And I'm so sorry to my Lord for all or any and all un- unrighteousness. And I praise this in your loving name, your son, Jesus. Amen. I look forward to coming here again tomorrow and focusing on Proverbs 4. And I love you all, and I'm sorry for the emotional um, today. I'm in a battle that I will break through. And I know with God, I can. I love you all. And I thank you all for joining. Bye.